Well, hello. Didn't see you there. Um, welcome. We we asked you for your questions. We got 459 of them before I turned it off. <laughs> some of them were great. Some of them were just letters of the alphabet and my phone number. <laughs> and so we went through, we pared it down, we deleted things that were too personal for you to know, such as my blood type and where we live. House coordinates. Yes, house social coordinates. Started getting crazy with social yeah. security and. Yeah, things that you could like <laughs> steal my identity. <laughs> if you really wanted to. You could be a Mr. High if you wanted. So, we picked out 13 because it's October now almost. And so, by the time you see this, it'll be October. So, we picked out 13 because spooky. And um, we've given it no thought beforehand. So, I'm just reading these and then we'll just answer them. And if it's terrible, it's terrible. <laughs> And then we'll cut out all the mistakes we make. Um, so if we jump around, that's why. So question number one is an intelligent question. Mr. Martinez, what is everything you grade for while well, we're doing the playing tests? Ooh, the playing tests. Well, we're looking at like several things. We're looking for posture, right? Yeah. Hand position, right? Is your left hand good? Is your right hand good? Your bow hold, right? And then after all the check marks are included, right, then you look at intonation, rhythm. Are they playing the beats correctly? Are they in sync with the metronome? Are they nailing are the notes? Are the notes precise? All that good stuff. So basically, are you perfect or not? Yeah. Okay, not everybody's going to get 100. Nobody, I don't nope. never get anybody a 100. Give it somebody a 99. Are you perfect? Let's be real. No. There's only two perfect people in this room, and it's us. So, um, <laughs> but no, we look at a lot of things, and then we put you in places where you can be successful and stuff. So, that was that was the intelligent I'm, question. I'm not gonna put you somewhere where I feel like you learn to lack. No, it's gonna. I'm gonna pair you with somebody that hopefully fits with you and then meshes with you, and like, you can learn something from them. Or somebody that you hate just Maybe. to make us laugh. Um, so that was the intelligent question. Um, I agree with the same stuff. So if I was to answer it, I would say the exact same thing. So that was pretty easy. Um, the next question, what would you want to be said on your gravestone? <laughs> I would like to, I would like to say died young, made a pretty corpse. <laughs> I, I guess I'll, I'll think of two sayings a music saying which mine is always <laughs> F sharp <laughs> just, just F hashtag that's hi, it hi too hi <laughs> too hi too hi too to. and then if I had to think of a personal one oh, sleep when you're dead <laughs> yeah. I would have it say uh, mistakes were made mm -hmm. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for that question. Yeah. I am. I'm getting closer to death, so I'm not sure. I should probably just start thinking about that. All right. What is your favorite farm animal noise? A farm animal noise? It has to be a cow. It has to be moo. Moo? Moo. Moo. I've always like found it interesting. Like, why, why moo? Why does it have to be moo? Why can't it just be like a weird noise? Well, I live next to a farm, so I hear a lot of moos already. There's a lot of moos. There's a lot of moos, and there's goats. And oh, that's a good one. But the cool one, I guess, is the when you walk out at it's like six o'clock and I'm in the morning or whatever when I leave for work, and the rooster. there's the rooster. Oh. And, and my and my daughter named the rooster Silly Cat. Silly and Cat. I, I don't know why, but. The rooster is really cool because you think, oh, that's cool. But when you hear it in real life, it's like, oh, that is really a rooster. Is, yeah. <laughs> that's it really is, what it sounds. It is really loud. It is really loud. All yeah. right. So cows well, and rooster. What would yours be? The rooster? The rooster, yeah. The rooster, okay. Okay. Now for the divisive one. Pineapple on your pizza. Yay or nay? So I like to think of myself as a pineapple guy. I mean, as a pizza guy. What am I saying? <laughs> I can't think of it as, as as pineapple on pizza. No, that's like a forbidden sin. Like, no, it just doesn't belong no, on there. No, no, it just. I love pineapple on pizza. <laughs> so we're gonna fight later. 
Not on camera. Nobody bring me a pineapple pizza, please. Like, bring me pi bring me the pineapple. I've never so tried. Cool. I've never tried pineapple. Never. Never. Okay, for a pizza party. <laughs> Somebody say pineapple. I'm gonna make him try it. Uh, I do the Hawaiian, the pineapple, and like the Canadian. My food. parents would always okay. eat it, and I'd be like, nope, cheese only, extra but I'm, sauce. I'm a pepperoni guy mostly. Okay. Like, so like pineapple. nice or or some meats, bacon, stuff like that. Oh, the meat lovers. Yeah, the meat, meat lovers. Right? Lovers. That. But pineapple, there's a there's a nice place for that. No. Okay. If your house was burning down, what thing would you save other than children? I'd sometimes I question that. <laughs> Oh, I guess I could give you two answers. I give you two answers. Two. Well, the first music one would obviously be an instrument, my violin. Yeah. Um, hands down, because I wasted way too much money on it. <laughs> <laughs> like they, that, that's worth the whole car there. So, and then other than that would be. I don't know. I, uh. uh I want to say a TV, but I can't take a TV out of the house. Why not? That's too it's heavy. That's too heavy. <laughs> That's too heavy. Have you tried mounting like an 80 inch TV not by 80. yourself? No, I have a 55. So yeah, That's, no, try an 80. It breaks. I did that on a rolly chair. It was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what would you take out? I would, okay, I would probably take my base. Base. Because it's the worth of a small car. Yes. Yeah. I spent That's too insane. much on it. I'd have to save the children and the wife, obviously, but it says other than that, so it's going to sound really weird, but I would probably take the PC I built. Oh my gosh, that's so silly. Yeah, my, my cats, I guess, but, oh, yeah, what, cats. but I was thinking of the children yeah. as my cats. So. The two dogs, the two guinea pigs, the cat, yes, yeah, yes, yes. take those two. I, I would, that is okay. But if I was being selfish, I would take my PC, because that's a lot of stuff I've downloaded. True, but imagine all the stuff you got to unplug and everything. The house is burning. The house is burning. So, maybe yeah. the nice chair we have. <laughs> I don't okay, know. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, probably the computer. You know that kind of stuff. So, but I would obviously say don't, don't. Please don't tell my wife. I'd obviously <laughs> save her and the children and the animals. Don't, don't tell Aria that I don't like her or something. <laughs> if there's a baseball game and your bat breaks, what instrument do you use to replace it with? <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming a stringed instrument. Um, if I really had to choose one, probably the cello. The cello? I'd probably use a cello. Just say it that way I don't miss. Because <laughs> the bass I can't swing. Right. So it's too heavy, right? I was going to make the joke of it's the viola because would anybody, that's the best use for it. <laughs> don't don't come that fine. It's just, um, it's just wood at that point, right? <laughs> Maybe the clarinet, if I had to go all instruments. Would, would you would you choose the clarinet? Yeah, the clarinet. That would be all right. Oh Maybe. Gosh, the clarinet. I, if I had to choose another one. I need the, something I can the, swing fast. The, the, the tuba. <laughs> the tuba. <laughs> if I could swing I the tuba. I want to see you swing that tuba. I want to see you tuba. <laughs> all right. So now you know. Have you ever broken any bones? No, I've never broken a bone. I've broken two. Two bones, which one? I've broken my pinky Oof. at band camp. Okay, that's in junior high. That's fine. That's expected. I got it shut in the door. That's expected. And then I tried to, <laughs> then I tried to play my clarinet in band, and it hurt. And then I asked Ooh. them, and yeah. I, I was just like, whatever, it just hurts, whatever. But no, it broke, and I had to have surgery and stuff. And then I broke my elbow, which oh. is a story I can't tell you until you graduate high school. Oh, gosh. Um, so come find me. I've but. never broken anything, but a TV has fallen on my foot. Oh. Like okay. from about yay tall. Okay. And that hurt. I've like had that. stitches a few times yeah, when yeah, I was yeah. a stupid no, kid. Stitches, but. yeah. I've I've taken part of my knee. Part yeah, of my knee is missing. I did too. Part of my knee is gone. <laughs> it's literally gone. So every time it gets cold, it's like... <laughs> right? It's like a little wooden thing. But other than that... No, no, no. no. I have a two-inch screw. I've set off one metal detector. Oh no! I never. I don't know why. Just that one. Well, that I mean, one. it is metal. Yeah, it's just so that one. I was thought it was like not supposed to do that, but oh, for some okay, reason. Okay. One day they'll take it out, and I get to keep it. I guess. What is the most expensive thing you've ever purchased? My instrument. I I have yet. I have yet to purchase my own car. No. Yeah. Everything's been hand me downs and just passed down to me I have yet to purchase my own car so as a musician you have to choose your instrument first I guess 
So that's I mean, been my most expensive thing ever. The obvious thing is a house. Yeah. And all the land and stuff. Oh, but, obviously, yes, yes. But if you don't count that, I have three cars because of all my children. So I guess vehicles. So vehicles. But if you had to use a thing, my base probably cost the most. Oh, I bought it in college and then I had to go out and buy another car so it yeah. fit <laughs> so I can take it home. <laughs> I guess if it wasn't if it wasn't an instrument, yeah, I would say like um, most expensive, probably jewelry. Probably yeah. good jewelry. Yeah. yeah, I don't I try not to buy stuff. I bought yeah. some. Gotcha. Save your money. I, I am a video game collector. Oh, that's so, that's all <laughs> that's where all my money's <laughs> my Well wife. that's the leading next probably that's and, the leading and, next. Um, leading oh and, and as the kids know, like I drink a lot of Dr. Pepper, so I, <laughs> I probably should own stock in that. Um what is your worst habit? Um, as far as musician goes, like, it's probably messing with my hands, messing with my hands yeah. all the time, because I'm always like using them or doing something, whether it's just picking at my fingers, my fingernails, whatever. But if it has to be another worst habit, probably, like, just never finishing a video game. Yeah, like I like yeah, just not revisiting it again. I try to keep lists just so I feel accomplished. No, like I I am also a video game collector and I like collecting video games. But like for instance, the Nintendo DS. I'm not sure if you guys know, but it is extinct, so it doesn't exist anymore. So you had to purchase all the games online of it mm -hmm. at a certain point, and so my Nintendo DS has like over like I'm ashamed to say, but like over two thousand dollars worth of games. Yeah. <laughs> well, my Steam account has like 300 on it. So. Yeah, so it's I buy like, them on sale. I don't buy them full price. Oh, no, but... no, no, I get you. But like that, that Nintendo DS is worth like two thousand dollars for sure. Oh it's God. crazy. Yeah. And then you're one day gonna lose it. Yeah. No. <laughs> my worst habit, if you ask me, is I bite my nails a lot. Mm -hmm. If you ask my wife, I say like a lot, <laughs> and I annoy her. <laughs> I annoy people a lot because I have dad jokes for days. Um, but I say like a lot, but I bite my nails because I, I guess it's a musician habit. Like, mm -hmm. because you're not supposed to have big, long fingernails, kids. Yeah. And I and I so I just chew mine. Oh, uh, we've made it through one page. All right, couple more questions. Do you think aliens are real? Well, what do you think? Oh, uh, I would like to say yes. I think it would be fun. I think statistically it has to be, there has to be, right? But... The universe is so big. Right. Like, so... We're just one universe. There's like, I don't know how many there you're are. You're going to say humans are the only thing? I, I don't believe there are other humans, but I do believe that there are other forms of life. Okay. Or planets that are like Earth. Are you saying like humanoid life or like carbon-based yes. like yeah, molecules? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So for instance, like there's grass, there's trees, there's water. You know what I mean? Like organisms. I feel statistically like, that has to be possible. Yeah, like why? Like what happens after Earth? Like come just, on. No, I mean maybe I'm, maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're it. We're it. That's it. That would be sad. Sometimes you wonder <laughs> if there should be a do-over. <laughs> I mean, look at us. Look at us. I know. Um, all right. Which sport do you like the best? Oh, I like many sports. I'm a sports guy. I like I like a lot of sports right now, currently, because it's football season. So it's football for me. Yeah. It's football. Yeah, American football. Close second would be soccer, but only when it's, like, appropriate. So, like, whether it's, like, Champions League or uh, World Cup. Or international football um, but other than that it would bottle down to basketball hockey and then lastly baseball I can't oh. I can't watch baseball <laughs> I see. played baseball for 10 years and it was the most boring sport in the world see I coached enough baseball that I <laughs> once you start coaching it and you see all the stuff behind the scenes it kind of makes more sense and it kind of it's whatever um I'm a big basketball fan um, make sure this doesn't turn off because we're interesting. Um, I'm a big basketball fan, big Spurs fan and stuff, but I'm also a Packers like football fan. Yeah, football for me, American football is 49ers, uh, what's it called? Basketball, Lakers. I like oh, the Lakers. Okay. Um, 
I was caught wearing a Shaquille O'Neal shirt. So that was that. <laughs> I well, I enjoy the Spurs and Houston Rockets area, so oh, okay. I don't like the Rockets very much. But oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But I'm, I'm a big basketball and baseball guy. Okay. Baseball. Football, football I'll watch, but I don't know. There's so much time in between everything. And I guess it's like baseball. But they like, there's a lot of standing around. I don't mind. Football, like, I, I think don't in know football why. it goes by fast. I, I think in baseball I'm like, but see, like baseball, oh. like, baseball, it doesn't bother me. But in football, I'm like, why don't they do stuff? <laughs> like, I, they I think there? they're doing so much. I think like the quarter goes by like so but fast and everything. Like it's like I feel I don't know. To me, baseball and basketball has always been more like finesse talent as opposed to just running into people. Okay, that's how I grew up. Like, okay, there's less skill involved, oh, I yeah. guess. But like, there's still a very skillful thing. Mm-hmm. But I feel like basketball and baseball always have more skill behind it. Yes. Yeah. No, it does. I still can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't shoot a three to save my life. So don't even expect me to do that. I so, can block you. I can probably block pretty good. But I can push you down. Yeah, I can push you down. That's it. <laughs> All right. Two more. Okay. Two more. If you've been watching this long, what is your worst fear? Oh, my, my worst. worst. My worst Go fear is failure. Failure. I hate failing at things. Like, I don't want to make it to with UIM. Even though that's not really failure, but I feel like, have I done something wrong? I don't like to, like, you know, in a video, I don't like to die in a video game. Like, I hate dying in a video game. <laughs> don't play Dark Souls. No. And I, <laughs> and I play it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm dying a lot. So I feel really accomplished if I can get through most of a game without dying. But then I start dying. Like, I played Dead Space, and I never wanted to die because it was like, Oh, I was like, I can't die. Oh, that's a good one. That's but like, game. then I started, and then once the first time you die, you're like, okay, whatever. But like, I'm like, I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to fail. Nah, for, for me, for the dying on the video games, it had to be like back in the day. You're talking like the Donkey Kong Country and Mega Man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Those were the games where I yeah. didn't want to die because yeah. you didn't get any save point. There was no <laughs> save start, point. You started back to the together. beginning. I was like, yeah. mm, my God, that's infuriating. But no, with my biggest fear, I guess a music, as a musician standpoint, is because I've been a soloist, so I've been a soloist, and my greatest fear is tuning in front of everybody, and I can't get the pitch. <laughs> yep. I can't oh. get the pitch, so as I'm tuning on the violin, it's just going back and forth, back and forth, and it's not, it doesn't stay, or it's like, I have to, oh, yep. okay, let me fix the pegs real quick, or whatever, and it's like, uh, so that's, and then you're on the spotlight, and it's the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> I but, think I think one day my my if one of my weird UIL dreams comes true that would be a big fear of mine. Yeah, so that oh. that's that's my biggest one. And as if it's a personal fear, I guess failure is pretty much up there. But I guess another one is acceptance. You yeah. know, like just feeling wanted or like just pleasing everybody. You know, I want to make sure everybody gets pleased. And yeah. if that person doesn't get pleased, it's like oh well. Look, see, my, my everybody says my day. everybody says it's public speaking, but once I start talking, like it doesn't bother me as much. I can't shut up. <laughs> yeah, like getting up there and doing it, yeah, maybe a little anxiety. But once it starts, like it's like well, you and you're here and you're doing it, so it's not like a big thing to me. All right, last question: Do you think we would survive as a planet if the internet was not created? <laughs> Totally. I mean, we've done it before. Yeah. Like, it was, yeah. yeah. Newsflash. I didn't have internet until my junior year of high school. Well, look at that. Yeah. And there was no cell phones till I was basically in college. Yeah. So. Back then, the computers were slow. I mean, <laughs> slow. And that was fast. That was apparently fast yeah. back then with dial-up and, and all this type of technology. I mean, they, back then, they didn't have phones. They had flip phones and these bricks of things. So... Yeah, yeah, we would totally survive without internet. If anything, I think, I don't want to jinx it, but I think we'd be better off without internet. There's probably some for, reason to. For some good <laughs> reasons, you know what I mean? I remember the first thing we had in internet, we could download a song. There you go. And so I tried to download a three-minute MP3 song at the time, and it took 35 minutes oh. to download it on the dial-up. Oh. And then someone would call you on your call waiting, in the last couple minutes and it would kick it off and you'd have to start it over and yep. so like 
these that these, right. these kids are on their phone. They're like, I'm gonna download this song, and in like 12 seconds, they have like the six minute song, the, the 10 minute Taylor I'm Swift down, song. I'm gonna download the 10 minute Taylor Swift song. In I'm like gonna download this video game. 12 seconds. I'm gonna download this, take a picture, screen record, all this other stuff while I'm doing it. Yeah. So, so yeah, I remember the first time I downloaded a video game, and it was like. One gigabyte was ten hours. It was like ten, <laughs> ten years ago. Ten years ago, it was just that. That's how long it took. It's like, oh, you want to play this one gigabyte video game? Oh, ten hours later, you'll be able to. Now it's like, no, it's oh, like that's, that'll gigabytes. take fifteen minutes yeah. <laughs> if you're even on a mid on a, a mid internet connection. Yep. Well, that's enough for now. As you can see, we could talk for hours yeah. and just with that was thirteen questions. That was the more normal questions. They get weird. So this is part one. Um, we'll make another one because we have, what is that, like 430 more left or something. So, um, I hope you enjoyed getting to know us as well, as well as we get to know you guys throughout the year. Um, it's been a fun, fun beginning of the year. There's a little bit about us. We are real people. We're weird. Kind of nerds if you think about it. <laughs> and, uh, enjoy it. Leave us a message. Tell us what you think. Answer our que answer the questions. Um, let us know what, what you think. Are aliens real? Actual aliens in space. Actual aliens. Actual aliens in space. Yeah, I, not, I, not the don't. things that they find here on Earth. Don't be, <laughs> don't be weird. Don't get, don't get, don't get weird. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hopefully you have a great time. I just screwed up in a rolly chair. See you later. It's always a good idea before you start. Because uh, we, because we love the kids. That's, yeah. Yeah. It's always a good idea until you have to actually do it. Right? Bye.